PMLN has called a joint meeting of its Central Working Committee as well as a Parliamentary Committee uh, on Thursday in the federal capital. And uh, to discuss uh, the significance of this meeting, I'm joined by a senior PMLN parliamentarian, Mr. Ayazami. Sir, thank you for talking to our news. Uh, could you shed uh, some light on the significance of this meeting, which uh, with its hectic agenda, including uh, the issue of Balochistan, SWAT, and also the federal capital, uh, whether PMLN should be joining uh, the cabinet or not after a PM's invitation. Uh, what would you say about it? See, but these are regular meetings of the parliamentary party and uh, the central working committee which take place from time to time to time. And so as such there's nothing abnormal about it. And this is the first one which is going to be held after the long march and after the changes, the re restoration of the judiciary. Uh, so I think all these matters, I don't know, as to what will be the precise or specific agenda before this meeting tomorrow. But I would guess that all these things would come under discussion over there. And it, uh, Central Executive Committee meetings and parliamentary, committee, uh, parliamentary Party meetings are ready to take stock of what's happening. They are brainstorming sessions, and I'm sure that many issues will arise. I'm sure that perhaps uh, the Nizami Adil regulation that may come up for discussion and as to what uh, lies ahead whether the PMLN should join the federal uh, government or not perhaps would come at a discussion but these are really as I said you know a general a review a, a general review taking sessions of the highest forums of the party and uh, the more of them there are, the better really for the functioning and the working of the party. So in your own opinion, uh, I, I completely agree with what you're saying, but in your own opinion, do you think it is feasible for the party at this point in time to actually heed the advice of the Prime Minister and his recommendation that uh, PMLN should come back and join the federal cabinet, especially after the judges have been restored and uh, the president in his uh, joint address has actually said once again and directed the parliament that uh, 17th Amendment uh, should be done away with. So what is, what in your opinion uh, are we heading for? See, what the party eventually d decides, I, c I cannot hazard a guess on that. But uh, if I were to tell you what uh, the generality of opinion in the parliamentary party is or in the PMLN. I think the PMLN rank and file and party members and elected members, they are, they are not very happy about the prospect of joining the federal cabinet because the point of view of the PMLN is the People's Party uh, is in government in the centre, the PMLN is in government in the Punjab, both within the separate and respective spheres of working should do the best they can, carry on with government, uh, give a better, uh, give, show better performance and without creating unnecessary problems for each other. Now, if that happens, you get stability and you are able to, um, you, you are able to create an atmosphere in which you can show better performance. A coalition government by definition is not an effective instrument of decision making because you always have to look back over your shoulder and uh, always keep in view the sensibilities of your partner or partners. Effective, cohesive government is a one-party government in majority. So if we have, if the P PPP with its allies is in a majority, the PMLN with the unification bloc is in a majority, why don't they work in this separate? But so the pretext of this invitation from the Prime Minister is that uh, you left, the PMLN left the cabinet saying that the judges uh, have to be restored and 17th Amendment should be done away with. And this is exactly the problem the Prime Minister is saying, that the judges have been restored while the government is in the process of devising ways and means of doing away with the 17th Amendment. Is this the logic that the PMLN appreciates or is it like continuing with its own rhetoric or its own pressure group on the 17th Amendment and see where the government goes with it? So I, I think one can appreciate the standpoint of the Prime Minister and uh, what is in his mind, that there should be greater stability, that all parties need to get together because of the very, very serious, grave, I would even say unprecedented challenges which the, uh, which the country is facing. So one can understand the viewpoint of the Prime Minister. But when you said that, when you say that the PMLN was in government at one time, that was then. This is now. 
and as the cliche goes, so much water has flowed down the bridge and perhaps we should be looking at something. But as I said, I cannot say what the party eventually decides. So eventually, what's it going to be? The priority uh, uh, list when it is compiled for tomorrow's uh, discussion, as you said, it's a regular discussion, stock-taking exercise. What's going to be on the top of the agenda, in your opinion, now that we have already signed into uh, the nafaz sharia regulation, the Balochistan matter is again hot, and uh, PMLN has just started trumping uh, once again the anti-Musharraf rhetoric as well. So what's going, in your opinion, to, is going to be on the top of the agenda then? No, I think it's going to be a general stock-taking exercise. You know, and um, for the party, what what uh, is uh, the priority number one or number two for that matter? There are so many things. I mean, the rate, I mean, priority number one, for not only for the PMLN, for the country really, is the overall general situation. It's the security challenge which the country is facing. I mean, all this talk that you're hearing across the planet, you know, Pakistan is the most dangerous place on earth. Uh, Pakistan's unity is under threat. Uh, the American press and media, and uh, when the American press and media comes up with such things, it, it always there's always an angle to such things. They're always coming from somewhere. That, uh, I mean, the breakup of Pakistan, God forbid, people are talking about that. I think this would be... Uh, if uh, any one issue will be on people's minds tomorrow, it will be this. And sir, before I let you go, finally, uh, have the government, uh, has the government and the PMLN been able to match their frequencies on Nizam Adil? Uh, you've been a, a staunch critic as well of radicalization process, but on this uh, account, now that it has been signed into the law, what's your opinion? No, I think the PML, uh, the PMLN was on board, and the parliamentary leader day before yesterday said that well it is not an ideal agreement it is not a perfect agreement but what choices do we have and therefore we are going along because this is this seems to be the only realistic uh, solution in the given circumstance and what about the criticism from washington which has started pouring in already well i mean washington wasn't in favor of the swat deal to begin with it's never been in favor of any deal with uh, militants, so-called militants or Taliban elements in Waziristan. So Washington is bound. That reaction is to be expected. But we should decide what we think is in our best interest. Thank you very much, sir, for talking to Dawn News. Uh, uh, well, senior uh, PMLN politician, Ayazami, talking to Dawn News and laying bare what he thinks uh, is on the PMLN's mind in the given uh, politics of the country. Back to the studios for now.